Hey, we have here an integral today from the Berkeley Integration B 2020. This is from the finals, problem number one. We have the integral from negative infinity to infinity, 2020 to the minus absolute value of x over one plus five, arc sine, sine to the fifth x dx. Okay, I thought this was really interesting looking. This is kind of a classic problem where it looks really complicated. There's a lot going on, but I think it's gonna simplify pretty nicely. And actually, I've done quite a few of these in the past, and I think we'll see that there is some tricks that are gonna to help to simplify it. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is just use this symmetry, and I'm gonna make a substitution. We're gonna have our substitution be u equal to minus x. Okay, then that means that x is minus u, and we'll take our derivative, and we have dx is minus du. And then when we make this substitution, we're gonna be reversing the sign on the bounds. So we're, now we're going from uh, infinity to minus infinity. We'll have 2020 minus absolute value of minus u. But you know, because we're in the absolute value, I'm just gonna write that as u because the minus sign in front is not gonna matter on an absolute value. Then we're gonna have one plus five arc sine. Now we're gonna have sine to the fifth and we'll have a minus u. And we'll have our minus du here. What I'm gonna do is take this minus sign, I'll bring it out front of the integral. Okay, but then I'm gonna use that to swap my bounds, so it's gonna just make this one into a plus and this one a minus, just flipping it. Now with this minus sign here, sine is an odd function. Okay, so if we have sine minus u, that's the same thing as saying minus sine of u. Now in this case, we have it to the fifth power. So we can consider this like, we can split this up as minus one to the fifth, sine to the fifth u, but minus one to the fifth is just a minus one. So we could essentially take this minus sign and bring it right here in front of the sine to the fifth. But arc sine is also an odd function. So it turns out we can take our minus sign all the way out front there. Now, one other thing I wanna do, and you've probably seen me do this a lot of times with the symmetry problem, is we're gonna to wanna to add it back to our original integral. Like we'll call this i. So we're gonna need two things. We're gonna want, we're gonna to wanna to get everything in one variable. So I'm gonna to need to change this back to x. But also we want the denominator to be the same. And we're close, but we have this minus sign here. So what I wanna to do to fix this, I'm gonna multiply the numerator and denominator by this thing right here, arc sine, sine to the fifth u. And we'll have to do it, so we're multiplying by one, so we'll do the same thing in the numerator and the denominator. And now I'm just gonna multiply this in, but you know what I'm gonna do in one step, I'm gonna, I'm gonna multiply this back in, but in one step I'm actually gonna change my variable back to x. I can change the variable because it's a definite integral, so the variable name doesn't matter. So let's see how this is gonna look. Okay, so now that we've multiplied in, we've changed back to x. Now just notice on this denominator, when we multiplied this term times this term, we ended up with our one. That's because you add the exponents and we add this to this and we get zero, five to the zero is one. And then we just multiplied this times the one to get this five arc sine term over here. So now, like I said, we're gonna use that trick where we add everything together. So we have our original integral i, but we've just manipulated it. So this here is also i. And so what I'll do is add these two together. We'll have two i, we'll have two copies of the integral. Let's see how that looks. Okay, now because we had everything in the same variable, the same denominator with the same bounds, we could add these together, but we have combined it into one integral. But one thing you'll notice, we have this 2020 term in common here, so I can actually just factor that out. And so let's see, when we do that, when we factor a 2020 out, 2020 to the minus absolute value x. Okay, so with it factored, now we have this one plus five to the sine term here, okay? But this is exactly what we have here in the denominator. So we can just cancel this. And now we're just integrating 2020 to the minus absolute value x. Because this is an even function and the integrals symmetric around the y-axis, I can change our bound, I can change this bound to zero and put, bring it two out front just because like the integral is the same on the positive side and the negative side. So it's just like we can bring it two there. Well, this two is gonna cancel with this two. And so now we can, we're just solving for our integral. Because our bounds are all positive now, we can take away the absolute value because everything's gonna be positive there. And we can just write this as 2020 to the minus X. Now to integrate this, this is not too bad because what I can do is I can take my 2020 We'll use the trick that we can use like whenever we have a constant in the base, essentially, we can write 2020 as e to the ln of 2020. Okay, so let's put that back into the integral and see how it looks. So we're going to have e ln 2020. I'll take this minus sign up front just because, and then here's our x. 
And then this form, we can just integrate it. So the integral of this is gonna be just E minus LN 2020 X. And we just need to bring this whole thing into the uh, denominator. And then we're just gonna need to evaluate from zero to infinity. So then when we plug infinity in here, because we have the minus sign, okay, we're gonna have like essentially E to the minus infinity. Well, that's going to zero. So our first piece is just gonna be zero. And then for our second part, we plug a one in here. Sorry, for the second part, we plug a zero in. E to the zero is one. So we're gonna have one over minus LN 2020. I'm just gonna take that minus sign and cancel it here. And that's it, we're left with our solution. It's just gonna be one over LN 2020. Okay, thought it was a great problem. So I think I'll have to look into doing more from the Berkeley 2020 integration B. Stopping it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.